that I was caregiver for my sister who battled lupus and she passed away a few years ago. And um, like I said, she, me and my sister was inseparable. We were arguing, we would fight like normal sisters, but we did everything together. And she was always, she was the younger sister. But she was always there for me. No matter what, she was always there for me. No matter what, she always encouraged me. She always told me she was so proud of me. She always told me. Kiara, she would say, sister, um, you know you can do better than what you're doing. You, it's other people out there. And she would, she wasn't afraid to tell John how she felt. She would always tell him, my sister can do better than you. She don't got to be with you. She would always, what I would be afraid to say, she would say, Oh, this morning, I'm missing her encouragement. I'm missing my sister. And I'm also, um, I'm also feeling bad because when my sister passed away um, me and Joan was going through at the time as well and while I was with my mom having to plan um, arrangements with my sister and I don't even want to talk about what John was doing at this time because it's a whole nother topic what some whole a, a whole nother mess. But um I feel so bad because I couldn't even focus on laying my sister to rest and then on the night before her funeral, John stayed out all night. He stayed out all night. I had a makeup appointment to go get my makeup done. I missed my makeup. I was looking for John all night. I couldn't find John. I was looking for John all night. I missed my my um my makeup appointment. And I was late to my sister's funeral. I didn't even I didn't even get to, to walk here with the family. Because he pulled up late with my truck. <laughs> and I just wish that my sister would know I'm so sorry. I don't know. 